chop, chop, chop. We're live. Well, I'm Coffee Time Friends. How y'all doing? Took you some minutes to get here today. But we waited on you. Um, we made a little reel while ago. We're trying to get into that real business. R-E-E-L. We're always R-E-A-L, but real business. That R-E-E-L. And I think it's still uploading. So you may see it tomorrow or something. Let's talk about doing this video today. But... <laughs> May That's what happens when people like me and Mama try to get fancy and do what they tell us to do. This is a medley, and it's a homemade. This ain't from a frozen bag. This is carrots that I just matchsticked up here really quick, as you can see there. And um, it's fresh broccoli. I even put a few of the stems in there because we eat them. And some good cauliflower. Let me rinse that off again. Mama's going to rinse my dirty pounds off from it, ain't you, Mama? Whatever she said. Are y'all having a good day? It's been a good day here in East Tennessee. We're going to put a little bit of ranch. And I'm going to put a little bit of lime pepper. I'm going to have to have some more lime pepper. Because um, I'm about out. Um, uh, get that off my fingers. Mama, my ring. Mama's got herself locked in the bowl. Mm -hmm. so, what is my ring called on it? Gonna put some lime pepper on these veggies. Now that just brings out the goodness in it. And then I'm gonna put some ranch. Y'all know I use ranch like a seasoning, not just a dressing. Oh. So ranch veggies are good. And I'm not about dipping them in ranch. I'm talking about sprinkling some on there. And this has got water in the bottom. And this is a colander here. So it's vintage. And then you put that on top and you have wonderful steamed vegetables in just about nine minutes. I'm gonna wait to turn them on a little bit I didn't hear a word she said, Mama. I'm gonna turn them on just a little bit later, not right now. Okay, so now Mama's fixing one of our very favorites and that is chicken livers. Now we do chicken livers different ways. And you may say, well I saw y'all make them month ago and you did them different. Well, we do. Today we're going to fry them the old-fashioned way and we're going to just use this skillet so y'all can see for what she's up to. But uh, we deep fry them sometimes and we fry them like this sometimes. The deep frying is probably my preferred way. Not for flavor necessarily. Uh, they're good either way. But for the simplicity of it, and you have a little bit more control over them, it seems like, when you deep fry them, because you got a lid you can put over them and stuff. Mama's going to show you the secret to getting fewer, and you notice I said fewer, pops. Because you're going to get a few pops. But livers are encapsulated in those little pods. So you need to take a knife or a fork and burst those little pods. Because when you do, I wish I could pick one and show you, but I really can't. Um, if you don't do every lobe of that liver, um, you'll, it'll build up pressure in there and then it'll pop like a little tiny balloon. That's when it pops up in your face and all that. So, you don't want that. So a lot of people don't fix livers because of that. Mom, we are on the wrong side of creation here. Well... Flip flop. I'm going to. You want to take this over there? I'm going to scoop. Yeah, and I'll pull. We're getting organized, folks. Our prep people who normally come in and prep all of our Do all of our prep and set our sets up and gets our camera ready and do all that, they don't exist. So that's the reason we're always fumbling around here. Um. I always like it on the shows. Every once in a while you'll find one of those people on those real TV shows and they'll say, is this so-and-so? And, -so? and somebody from off-site will tell them because they're like, is this what this is? I didn't get it prepped. So I need that staff. However many they are of them. I don't know. No, I don't want no staff. I love keeping it real. I like just, you know, we're here and we're happy to be here with y'all and we want to be real. So that's what we are. Mama, show them this liver. I'm going to put my apron on because I've got Well, yeah, Mama, you got to put that apron on. I've got on black. I don't need to. Here are the chicken livers. Now, they've been washed. 
Mama has washed them. And they've been rinsed a couple of times, actually. I sent her to do it twice. And I took a paper towel <laughs> and drained them. And then she took a paper towel and dried them. You want your chicken liver, leaf, beef liver, whatever you're fixing to be dry as you can get it. See, well, can y'all see that? I don't want milk on it, but I don't want water. Right. Water will cause that splattering. Mama's going to show y'all how she does it. I can get stuck, started here. Get started, Mama. Okay, I'm gonna move this. This is my flower. Let me interrupt you before you even get started. Did you turn your griddle on? Oh, what do I need it on? I do three. Fifty. And you better put your little oil in there while you're while you're prepping. Usually it's over here, but I'm not sitting over top of chicken livers now. Even I'm not even that brave. Even though Mama pops them and all that. I told her, so we're going to have to get it on that side today. Because usually I put it right here for y'all to see. I'm going to let y'all see, but I ain't going to be sitting on top of it. I'm a coward. I'm a coward. Chicken liver, it hurts. It'll hurt you. It'll pop on you. Cup of flour. Cup of flour. This is just uh, white lily self-rising flour. This is just table black pepper. Right there it is. This is, that was just a sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. This is ranch, y'all's ranch. That's lime pepper. Do you want lime pepper in it? No. I'm putting a tablespoon of cornstarch. Tablespoon of cornstarch to hold them livers, that, the dry ingredient on the liver while it's frying. This is about a teaspoon of ranch powder. Y'all's ranch. Excuse me. Pepper getting to you. Yes, ma'am. Now that's what's in this little dredge here. That's what's in the stretch. And I'm going to put a little shake shake of salt. A little shake shake of salt. This is Mama's, Mama's uh, recipe. So this is just the wash. Dried off livers, yes I could. I think the right one, the ranch. Oh. I'm gonna sprinkle a little on the livers. A little on the liver. Let's get you up where you can see mama work. As Johnny says, I'm cutting the top. And salt and pepper gets the same thing as the flour does. Just trying to coat the top a little. Now you can put red season, uh, pepper flakes in this. You can do any of those combos you want to do. Now see how those aren't just really, really wet? They're just liver wet. And I'm going to. Did you poke all of them? No, I'll poke them in the plate. Poke some in the plate, she says. Make sure. This is just buttermilk going in the livers, and all this is, folks, is that dredge. This is just to get them to hold this dredge. And she put about a tablespoon or two of butter. Not much at all. No, just enough. Buttermilk, not butter. Sorry, I misspoke. shimmer. Alright, here we go. This is the secret to the whole mess. Is getting these livers in here. Take that fork to them. Make sure you get those lobes. Now this is a love it or hate it kind of thing. People either love liver. See how she's poking all over the liver. Trying to poke every of the 
little pouch things. People either love livers or they hate livers. I used to hate them. Mama has been both. Mama has fallen on both sides of the track on those. I didn't like no livers. If nothing. Somehow you test your oils if it's ready with a little sprinkle sprinkle. Well, I'll just lay me a liver in there. Mama says, I throw a liver in there. That's what I do. You can take this a bit of flour, and if it sizzles, then your liver will sizzle. Mama's ready. Look at that. Now, that's what you want. If you don't, you're going to have greasy, oil-filled livers. I don't like them that way. And that's the same principle with deep frying them. As long as you put them in boiling hot oil, they won't absorb much oil to them, Mama. No, they get a coating. I can't get the flutter on them today. This was a 20 ounce package of Tyson. Tyson livers. Mm -hmm. Used to buy them a big old white cup with a clear lid on them. Well, this is white with a white lid on it. It's just Tyson. All the stores had their own livers usually. And, uh, they were in trays a lot of times. Yeah, sometimes. And uh, we used to buy them to fish with, <laughs> with them to eat. Liver served a lot of. Now I can see why some people wouldn't want nothing to do with them. I don't like gizzards myself. You know, I've never tried a gizzard. Well. I ain't never if you don't get gizzards just right, they could have food in them from where the chicken ate even. I mean, they're, that's what they're talking about. She boils hers and then she says, um, says it makes it tender and she likes them. I mean, I wouldn't be against you. livers. Ooh. I've eaten livers for so long. I, I, you've, been, you've had livers all your life. I love livers. Mama don't eat calf liver. But I may get some and try it because I don't know that I've ever eaten it other than in a restaurant. I've not fixed it for you. No. I and I don't think Granny did either. If you or Granny one didn't cook it, I probably ain't ate it. Every once in a while I have an aunt that will fix something you don't fix. Or... Now you notice I'm knocking on wood here as I say this. They've not started popping yet. They may start, and you'll say, I thought, but this does help. I didn't say it would cure it. It make it completely safe. But it does help, doesn't it, Mama? Yeah. A lot. Mm -hmm. I can't get it done. It's cozy here for some reason. It's just not perfect. It's cutting, ain't it? Yeah, but it seems like it won't. I put that cornstarch in it, but it wants to fall off some. Looks like you're doing a good job to me, Mama. Oh, I feel it. Seems like I'm slow piddling. I don't like that. You're going as fast as one little woman can go? Ain't you? I'm going as fast as I go, but I still feel like I'm piddling with it. It's taking too long. That's the way it feels when you're working for you? I always feel like I ain't doing it near fast enough that Mama would like. No, you probably ain't. You want to do it like Bewitch. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Done. I want it done. Uh huh. I didn't think there's that many in there. There's a bunch, and that's a good a good bait of them. My granny always used the word bait. Have y'all ever heard the word bait used in reference to a meal? As in to say, I fixed us a big old bait of chicken livers and we ate every one of them. Or to say, we had a bait of green beans mm, and I ate me a big old bait of them. Where'd that word come from? I don't know. But she always said it, didn't she? Ours was a mess. <laughs> we said a mess and granny called it a bait. Maybe it's just a family thing, you reckon? It might be. Now, Granny would use the word mess, a mess of green beans, or a mess of something, but she also used a bait of. Any y'all ever have heard that before? Any y'all ever heard your family use the word bait, as in a bait of something, a, a 
certain quantity of it. <clears throat> There's probably some real measurement. I don't know about beta. Mm -hmm. Oh, she says Kansas is short for a batch. A batch. Can it might be. It might be. That sounds very logical to me. Because that's how Granny used it. It was like, I I, mean, I fix a big old bait of chicken livers. Or helping. Yes, Maria. A helping of something. We always got the helping. We say a mess too, Sandy. We always got a helping when we filled our plates. A helping? A helping. We don't get too big of a helping. Uh-huh. We got a helping, a mess, a bait. A mess is what you cook for the whole family. A helping uh -huh. is what we got for ourselves. A mess, you would say to someone, won't you come up here and get you a mess of these green beans? I had a bunch of them. And a mess was about the amount it would take to feed your family. Mm -hmm. So if there was two of you, a mess might be a yep. quart. If there was ten of you, oh, yep. there's one. If there was ten of you, a mess might be a paper bag full. Or a poke full. What about that word? There's your word. First time I ever went to Illinois, we always used Pope, say Pope for paper bags. And I was at the store, about the little old store at the corner, bought some stuff, and I said, can I have a Pope? She goes, what, what? <laughs> See, bro, about this poor little country girl, what are you talking about? And I said, could I get a pulse to put this in a, a sack or bag or whatever you want to call it? Okay. It was a learning curve for both of you, I bet. I bet it was. Now, Mama, for her, for if you'll put your plate right over there, I'll uh, There you go. Mission accomplished. Look at that. Clean as a whistle. All right, let's talk while our livers are livering. I will pull them over here. We can watch them a little bit better because they're going to need to be turned directly. Now, there's your word. Give me that cutting board out of the way. There's your word that you probably don't hear often unless you're from the South. Is directly. Not directly, but directly. Directly. I used to have I had a friend, her dad, if he he drove he didn't drive too slow. But he probably drove slower than your average driver. And when somebody would pass him, he would say, Y'all go on, we'll be there directly. Hello from Missouri. It might be easier for her to put flour in a bag and shake. The you don't get Sharon? it in the cracks. Mama says you can't get in them cracks. Mama uh -huh. does her thing. I know. I like I the bag can't. shake. I like the bag shake. You're probably okay with it. But picky in here, she's strict. But he would always say, well, go on. Y'all go on. We'll be there directly. Meaning I ain't going to speed. But directly is one of those words. And people will say that. I'll be there directly. You can show them the rolls. While we're I having homemade rolls that Mama has worked over. Actually, we're not. Sister Schubert, she's a doll. She comes by and makes us rolls all the time. You know, she just shows up, makes these delicious rolls. Thank you, Sister Schubert. Does this come from the Walmart? They have a lot has them. Walmart has Most stores have them. But directly. That's a funny word. Uh, 
Elements now left. She's posting the recipe for chicken livers. Thank you, Miss Nell. Six is enough. Yeah. Here's six and close that pie up for me, so I'm putting it in the freezer. A hard boiled egg said onions. So good. Rhonda, that does sound good. Said her grandmother mashed chicken livers up with hard boiled eggs. And um, my onions. Mm, I like that. That sounds delicious, Rhonda. Hey, from Chicasha, Oklahoma. I probably said that wrong, Jan. Love prime livers. I'm, I'm from the South, and I love it. Yes, baby, I do too. Hello, everyone. I love chicken livers. Good. We get some chicken liver lovers today. Sometimes I get chicken liver haters. Check out the carbs in one row. Bonnie, I don't want to. Bonnie, why did you bring that up? Oh, Bonnie. Eighteen. Grant. Total carb seven percent. Woo, Bonnie. I close my eyes when I eat it. <laughs> Bonnie, I guess you're right. That needs to be looked at. 18 grams is a lot of carbs. The one row, one row is how you get. Mama, we split in a row today. No, we're not. This is something I can splurge. Bonnie, why don't you bring that up? We could have went on in denial the rest of our lives. We gotta know, don't we, Bonnie? Good afternoon, John and Mama. I hope you both are having a blessed day. Love chicken livers. Uh, Daphne, we are having a blessed day. Be careful, they are bad to pop grease. They are. Better cover them. Well, we, we probably will need to cover them in a minute, but here, this one looks a little brown down here. When you take that fork to them, you can see the difference that that can make. Now, I'm going to turn on them here. Can y'all see in that pan? So, I'm going to turn on good. And, uh, I'm trying to turn them in the way I've seen Mama put them in there. Because that's the way they're going to cook. But, not necessarily because they're going to cook where these elements are in this pan, too. I think I'm going to look at getting another electric skillet that's about half this size. Because we've really enjoyed this, like this one, and maybe find a small round one. Can anybody have any recommendations? Uh, because sometimes we just need a smaller space. Now look how good these are looking. Can y'all see that? Let's come up here and get this one. Now see, Mama was afraid she wasn't covering them, but look how beautiful they are covered. And look, yeah. And look how uh, brown they're getting. Now they just have to cook on this side. And they'll be ready to put up on a paper plate. Yeah, it's quicker this way than deep frying, Mama says. And this is the original way to fry them is. So, Mama likes the original most of the time. Mama don't like change. Deep frying does taste a little different, too. It changes the crunch. We're just going to let them finish on that side. We'll pull them up, put them in a, on a plate with some paper towel. What are you having with those livers? Sandy, we are having some whole kernel form of butter. Mm. No, we are. I And we are having... Um... What did you say? Did it do good? Shake it good. We're having a few mashed taters. And Mama will probably make some brown gravy. So it'll be, and we got that vegetable medley that's coming right along. So it'll be vegetable medley, whole kernel corn, mashed potatoes with some gravy. Um, I should make KFC gravy, Mom. But I ain't, I ain't gonna. It'll just be brown gravy today. Mm. 
use the, the old church key on the can. We're just going to dump this corn in a in a saucepan and put a little butter in it. You got the can up now? Oh. Is that what I'm just doing? I just you want. You gave me the church key. Um, so that's how we're going to do We got all kinds of roaring and frying and sizzling. It'll be one of those times when all this stops, it'll go quietness. Mama, here's your corn. Here's your butter. Here. Here's my corn. Like you, uh, wait till you pick them up and I'll get it. I'll get it. This corn looks, uh, it's, I guess, is it been shaken? It needs rinse, probably. And we'll get a pepper towel. And we'll check these livers. They need to sizzle a while longer. Mom, you might turn them too low over there. Well, they're just kind of laying here. Well, they're fine, but like right there, it's still... I guess they're okay, but I've got something that's going to have to be in there a few more minutes up there. See that one? Yeah. He needs up here some oil. I'm moving him to the center, center port. I see that's not over on the port. Well, we may have to temp them. Because I don't want no roll fibber now. Uh-uh. So I'm going to put my perfect towel in here. I like to take the towel and give it all it's got. And I'll put it in here and tuck them corners. That way it completely covers your whole plate. Right there. And then I put this in right in the middle. That's where most of the treats is going to lay. So it's good and covered. Now let's tent. Poultry needs to be 165. So let's see what we got here. It's it, that is done. I like it. How do you feel at 202? I feel good at 202. All right. You feel good about that one then. And you feel good about this one. Just taking these out as I temp them. Ooh, mama, these 214. They know they're frying in your pan. They got hot in a hurry. Two, eight, ten, twelve. And it just keeps on growing. Look how that breading stays on there. Now, a lot of that is just because... But look here. See how that breading just stays right on there. That little bit of baking soda is the secret to keeping your bread on anything. This works for vegetables. It works for chicken, fish, anything that you are breading and, and frying, deep frying. This will hold it on there. Now look there, folks. This is gorgeous chicken livers. Let me hold them up here where you can see them. That's what I'm looking for. When I see chicken liver, say chicken liver, this is how I want them cooked. Don't know that I've ever had them cooked any other way than deep fried this way. Some people have baked them. All these have hit 212 in when I temp them. Well, 
that little one ain't. What's wrong with him? He was going to sit down there and get, get done. Put him back in. Now that one's a different one. See, these are all going 212 real easy like. We like this little Presto. I don't know if I can find a small one in Presto. And I've never really had Presto before. To know that little piece there, he got to 212. I've never used a hot plate. Mama had one. We've had them. You remember the ones that everybody used to have that was square and they had the big old dome like a lid on them? You remember that? That was electric. That's what this is, Mom. You said hot plate. Okay, I'm just talking, but really it's, a, it's electric skillet. That's what it's supposed to be. Now, now he's seen all of his other friends jump out and uh, now he got to 212 in a hurry. All right, folks, we're done. Leave your thermometer open till after you wash it. There it is, folks. It's done. Let's take out the unplug. Now there's them beautiful chicken livers. It's what you want right there. And our vegetables have come out of... You've got one more in there. Oh, I have a... Mm -hmm. oh, Mom, no. I'm glad you was here. I could have messed that up. No. All right. They done. Am I, am I, am I feeling... Peeling. Am I mashing taters? Mm -hmm. I'm set that up. All right, Mama. Oh, I'll we'll get my job done. Y'all seen me mash potatoes 714 times. I like to mash well before I add any cream. That's another little secret. If you put your cream in, a lot of people put their butter and cream in now. Y'all are in it. Okay. You don't want to put your cream in till you get your potatoes mashed. They're going to be lumpier that way. If you mash them good before you put your cream, and then put your butter, and then last put your cream, then they stay, they smooth out better. Oh, hello, Mrs. Schubert. Schubert's carbonated rolls. Good night, 18 grand per roll. I'm glad somebody told me that, even though I wish they had enough. Wish somebody had just said on here, those are good, they've only got about three carbs. 18 is a lot of carbs. That's a, almost a daily serve. I told you, I'm closing my eyes when I eat them. So I won't see those. Things. It ain't your eyes, Mama. It's, it's, Hand it's, me that rag so I don't want this flower It's other things that it's... You don't need all the carbs. Now, you didn't put any butter in these, did you? No, I put it right here. Would you like for us to have something today? So I mash mine up, get them all good mashed, just like this. Yeah, that. Yeah. And then I put my butter, and then I mash them again with butter. That's pre-softened butter, it don't take it in no time, look at that. And lastly, I put my cream. Now this is room temperature cream too. You can put your cream out in a microwave safe, something, and then put it in here, but room temperature, Usually works fine. And then, now you're all smooth. You're all smooth, smooth, smooth. Now when you get them just like you want them, or you think that's how you want them for your table, I recommend you go ahead and put a little more cream or a little evaporated milk because then they'll be back to that by the time you're ready to eat them. This is our Y'all's saucepan. Y'all's has got cookware. They got all kinds of stuff. Now 
Let's see, as I'm looking at those, I'm going to add a little bit more cream. I wouldn't add much more. Listen to her. Mama? Don't make them too thin. Who's making these taters? I didn't make gravy. I Mama, what a disappointment. We won't have gravy. No brown gravy? I don't think so. You love it so good. I know I'll make some. Off. No, just let it go because I've got rolls, corn, and cauliflower. I don't bread it on the. We don't need no more potatoes. Lord, now you've got to record up on them rolls. Knock me out of some gravy. Mama, I won't eat a roll. I'll eat a roll. Give me one teacup. Now look, that's perfect, folks. Mama was wrong on that one. I didn't put too much in it. Look how they're holding in there. You gotta work your mashed potatoes just to get them just right. Yes, my teacup. I need some more y'alls. This is metal utensil safe. So we're good. Now let's do a flyover. Here we go. Let's straighten up and then fly over. So there's those mashed potatoes. And then there's that vegetables, corn. Who them rolls, them rolls that are so, and there's them beautiful chicken tenders. You ought to know as good as a roll is, it's gonna cost you something. We use butter and whole milk and mayo. You put mayonnaise in them? Is that what you're saying? And mayo in our mashed potatoes. Paige, you put mayonnaise in? A lot of people use this sour cream and stuff. I never had mayonnaise in my mashed potatoes. Then maybe you should get your own cooking show and stop watching. Uh-oh. Rhonda's having to tell somebody something. Potatoes are carbs. Corn is carbs. Rolls are carbs. Laura, you know, we got some carbs going on today. Don't forget, Laura, that bread on them livers is carbs. <laughs> so, actually, as I look over this whole buffet here, the only thing that's not a carb, Laura, is these mixed vegetables. Everything else is carb. And even this tea has got some sugar in it. Yeah, we ain't doing the best today, Laura. I agree with you. I didn't eat nothing for supper lunch yesterday, so I deserved extra. I don't know what I did just yesterday. Who was here taking over our very thoughts? But we got up and ate breakfast yesterday. And it wasn't terribly late. It was at 10.30. And um, last night we was watching a movie. And I said to Mama, have you eaten anything today? And she said, mm, nope. We didn't eat another meal yesterday. So our supper yesterday was popcorn. Carbs. Are they carbs and popcorn too? Well, sure. It's corn. Oh. Well. Pork in your corn. Anywhere. And so that was what our supper was was popcorn. And that's all we had yesterday, is breakfast and popcorn. Now I had, uh, I did make us some hot chocolate in the middle of the day. I guess that was kind that's of That's probably what happened to us. Kind of lunch. We probably ate that hot chocolate and then we went hungry. But we've been trying to do better. And don't laugh at me for saying that because I mean, I know this is an 18 carb roll. Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie, I'm just lashing out at you because you're the one telling me. I didn't have no idea. Thank you, Bonnie, for helping us. We will need some money now that we know this. So but next time, Bonnie, we're having something like that, just write in later and tell me. <laughs> now we need to know. We got to know these things. But, whew, I didn't want to guess this. I said, how much you pepper for your potatoes? You Would you have guessed it? No, I sure. Mama would. Brown gravy would have been good on them. Oh, I just got busy and getting it ready and everything. You just thought of them carbs you want me to have them. That's <laughs> good. It looks good. Look, that looks like downtown. I don't know if like downtown. Look at that pretty colors. Nice taters. 
18 carb roll. I'm just going to start calling 18 carbs from now on. <laughs> Mrs. Shields, 18 carbs. Oh, well, we didn't have no more of that. Yeah, we will. I have them for Christmas and Thanksgiving. Christmas is it. No more Sundays. Uh, we've been doing no bread. That's what I, we need to go, you know, we've been doing no bread. This was just a special tea. Let's bless it. <laughs> bless these carbs. Ooh. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for nourishing our bodies through the Lord. And we just pray that you'll be with us, be with each and every person here gathered. And be with all their prayer requests, your Lord, and their needs. Your Lord, we just pray that you'll heal them and help them and as only you can do. And be with our country and our nation, your Lord. And uh, just watch over us and everything we do and say in your name we pray. Amen. All right, Mama, let's try it. I'm going to go in for this liver first. I am too. Because this is the highlight. This is the star of the show. Hey. Mm. So good. Mmm. Mama, you couldn't have done no better? Mmm. Got a little bit of ranch. Salt and pepper. It's also good. The rock was good. Carrots are good. You seasoned them pretty good. Mm -hmm. I did, didn't I, Mom? Mm -hmm. Let's see what y'all are up to. Come over here. Light and crunchy. Smooth. Onions. Yeah, I like them crunchy too. I have a turkey in the oven. Karen, that's going to mm. be good. Hey, from Mississippi. Hey, Jenny. Y'all got anything you want to add today? Don't know, but tell me no more carbs. No, talk about carbs and the corn and all that. Can you, <laughs> can you take all that? Go ahead and tell me. I love liver. <laughs> I'm eating swamp soup and cornbread. What? Sandy, I never heard of swamp soup, I don't think. It all looks delicious, but one thing. Gravy. But it's still a really good meal. I'm with you. Margie, we could have had some brown gravy if, if Bonnie hadn't brought up in carbs. I just forgot it. Bonnie, thank you. I'm just saying that because I didn't want to hear the news. Gosh, you right. That's a lot in one little row. I'm not eating that whole row. Uh -uh. I might not even eat that thing. <laughs> it ain't worth it, I don't believe. 18 carbs? When I was growing up, I didn't even know that it was such a thing. Ooh, you didn't teach your kids either. We ate what was set on the table. Mm, I wonder what any carbs is in a piece of cornbread. I don't know. A lot. But we worked and we played and we burned them up. Right now, I ain't planning on doing nothing today. You have to do something to work out that carbs. <laughs> Does make a difference. I'll go out and play with Abby. Well, if you run around with Abby, you'd lose everything. Well, our play mostly consists of me throwing something. Her running again. <laughs> and then her running and playing with her, running off with it, and then me going and finding it and throwing it again, and her doing the same thing. And me saying, Bring it to me, bring it to me. How long does it take them to learn to fetch? I'll eat the rose. I'll work, work some of it out. What are you gonna do? No, no. I'll do something. I ain't gonna do nothing. I don't have to work off that rope. 
wonder how many rows you... I'm going to eat no supper now. No, I won't eat supper. We don't eat supper on Sunday. Well, and we don't hardly ever even go back to leftovers. Not on Sunday evening. When we eat this, that's usually it. Sunday evening is usually popcorn or a dessert or something, you know, late in the evening. We'll, like if we have a dessert, we'll, say we'll eat it at, two, at, at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock and with coffee and that'll be our evening. All right, Mom. You got anything you want to add? No, I'm just wanting to eat. Carbs and all. I ain't eating that roll. <laughs> I'm getting mad. <laughs> I'm hurt. My feelings is hurt. Not really. Honesty to you. That roll, I like them, but I ain't crazy over them. I like my aunt's rolls. I like mama's rolls. And I'll eat these. Back when I thought they had about 10 carbs in them. And a piece of cornbread though with butter on it. I'll splurge on that. Mama's biscuits. But I ain't going to eat that whole roll. That's for sure. Mm. That's a lot of carbs. Because these potatoes do have carbs. Don't eat much corn and eat you some rolls. I go ahead of corn. I do like the corn. The fresh vegetables are good. Yeah, you need a lot. I will damn you wrong. Mm -hmm. That's what I eat, look. Yeah, that's right. T sure is good. Oh, now right there, Valerie. Valerie, if this was a Texas Roadhouse roll, count me in 19 or not. I just eat it. They're probably higher because they're so big. Mama, good. they are not higher. They're probably higher. No, I won't hear it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. There's only 10 per row. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I take a bite of roll and bite of these steamed vegetables. And I think it equals out. Oh, is that what you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it levels it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll check your sugar more and see if it works. I'm drinking tea. That'll make my sugar go up. We're going to drink some water. Well, we're just going to lay around and drink water the rest of the day. Try to flush out some carbs. What a mess you get into just trying to eat. The livers are delicious. It's a good way to fix them. Now look. These livers. There's a bunch of them there. You pretty much have to fix them when you fix them. But we'll put those in the refrigerator. Mom will eat on those for a couple of days for lunch. I'll eat on them. They won't last a couple of days. No. They'll be eaten. But we'll eat. Probably eat another one. And then we'll have all those left over. And we'll eat around on them. But we won't let them waste. We're not into waste. All right, Mama. You got anything you want to add? Nothing about carbs or Texas Roadhouse Rolls. No. I love Mama's logic. <laughs> Kathy, you're you're agreeing with a woman who thinks stepping on the bottom step of the ladder is not been on the ladder. You have to be on the it's not really climbing. It's not high enough to climb. Do you want to talk about Kathy? Praise God for the food we have, plus the carbs. That's right, Connie. I'm thankful for the food we have. I love chicken livers. Rosanna, they're good. All right, folks, we're going to go. Y'all have a blessed day. Find you something and don't eat no rolls. <laughs>
eat them. It's Sunday. You deserve them once a week. Don't need rolls except on Sunday. How's that go? Now have a blessed day. Find you something good to eat. Spend some time with your family. Make some memories. That's, That's what it's important. All about. It's very the important. memories to go back and look upon. I sure would have to give you a bunch of memories, Mama. I know it. When you're thinking when back. Old, you think when you get old, old, you can think back on <laughs> that crazy kid I had. Mm -hmm. I was a kid with you. I played with you. I know. You grew up with me, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You're just, what, 20 years older than me? Yeah. Yep. 22 years older than me. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. Enjoy yourself. Find you something good to eat. And uh, enjoy the day. Have a blessed day. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye.